Hey guys, and welcome to Nickrit. In today's video, it's going to be a little wobbly. I'm not going to have a printable PDF like I usually do. I've been really struggling with figuring out how to describe how I made this cute little leaf hat. I've not been able to make it so that it's removable. So literally, I'm just sewing this right onto the top of my Among Us crewmate, just taking these strings and putting it right on the top. This is going to be a quick video where I just describe what I'm doing. I do actually do some wobbly things where I actually like flip stitches inside out. I will explain exactly how I do that. I found this yarn in yarn mill ends back in the day when I was going to do a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle amigurumi a long time ago, so I figured it'd be perfect for leaves. However, this was in a yarn mill end bin, so I have zero clue what yarn this is. All I know is that it is definitely acrylic and it is a worsted weight yarn. That's what it said on the outside of the container. So I'm using a worsted weight yarn, size four yarn. This is a really vibrant green. All the other greens looked like this and I didn't really, I don't know, I didn't care for how these colors looked. So I'm going to use this unnamed who knows where it came from yarn. All right. So again, we're using size four yarn. I'm going to be using a darning needle as well as my furls crochet hook. You all know my spiel by now. I'm a furls affiliate. I love my furls crochet hook. It is a D3 or a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. And if you fall in love with this hook, just like I did, you can get a coupon code for that right down below. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to take our yarn and we're going to create a nice long tail. It is important to create a long tail because that's what we're going to be sewing with. So I create a nice like 12 inch long tail. I always figure I can cut it shorter if I need it shorter, but I'd rather have it be too long to begin with than too short. It is always a pain in the butt when I don't have enough uh, stuff to sew with. So we're going to pick up our slip knot. We just made one real quick and we're putting it on our crochet hook. We are now going to chain six. It does not matter how you chain. I go from left to right, but if you wanna go from right to left, you are free to do so as well. I am just, I don't know, I'm dyslexic and I learned the wrong way and this is just how I chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six chains. There you go, I almost went into seven and I don't know why. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we chained six. I'm gonna move my tail over here so it's not as confusing. And now we are going to take our first chain that we made and we're gonna put our hook inside of that very first chain and slip through the first and the last stitches together. You're gonna have a small little hole here. You're also gonna have your tail to the left. Work as if your tail is a part of this loop. This loop right here, you're gonna kind of keep it so that it's going through the center the entire time. Here, we're going to chain two. This acts as our first double crochet for our leaf. One, two. If you look at our leaf here, I essentially did the same leaf that I did for my pumpkin video, my pumpkin tutorial, and I'm doing it, but I'm doubling it up and making a little bit of a center here. That's all I'm doing for this essentially. So we're going to continue on with our medium size leaf essentially. So the medium size pumpkin that I did, and this acts as our first double crochet. Again, I wrap from left to right, so I'm going to start by putting four double crochet on the inside of this loop with my tail as if it is a part of the chaining here. So one, go back inside, two, go back inside, three, go back inside, four. And essentially, we just made five double crochet on the inside of our work because that chain two counts as a double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five. Here, we're gonna create our nice little leafy point that kind of adds shape to our piece. And the way that I do that is after our last double crochet, we're going to chain three. So one, two, three, and we're gonna place our hook back inside the very first chain and slip stitch through, creating this kind of point little top here. So now we're gonna match our other side, but we're not gonna do it up, uh, any kind of chaining on the front. We're just gonna take and go inside of our loop five times with five double crochets. So one, 
We're making the other half of our leaf two. Three. Four. And the hole's gonna be pretty tiny at this point, but don't worry. And five. Here, I like to go back inside the hole and I'm gonna do a little bit of a slip stitch just to bring everything together. I'm gonna take my tail and tug it. That's why we kept the tail inside of it so that when we pulled it, it would close up our center and make it perfect. So now what I'm going to do, and this is where things get a little weird. I'm gonna pull my yarn out so that I have lots to work with so I don't have to pull it anymore. And here is where things get a little funky. I have one leaf, but now I want to pair it up and have a second leaf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna go back inside. I like to keep my tail as if it's a part of it, but not quite yet. We're gonna go back inside our very first chain from this chaining right here. We're going to slip stitch in. So we're going to take our tail and kind of wrap it over the front of our work. That way it gets kind of stuck between the two of them. We are going to chain two, which acts as our first double crochet. And then we're gonna take our work and kind of flip it backwards. So you're now looking at the opposite side of your chains. This is where I have a hard time describing how I'm doing what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm sorry if it's not clear. I just wanted to get this out there for people that are really stubborn and want to try to figure it out because this is just, I've struggled through it. We're keeping our tail as if it's a part of our work again. That way when we pull our tail, it'll bring it all close together. And right now, everything is upside down. And we're going to do our leaf again, but with the opposite side facing for our chains essentially. So we're going to, we just did our two chains that acts as our first double crochet and we're gonna go back inside and go in four times for this side of the leaf. There we go. I split my yarn there, but I made it work. Two, three, gonna feel weird too because it doesn't look quite right until you get to the very end where I make things work out. And four. There we go. And now we're gonna do the same thing that we did over here for this leaf. We're going to chain three. So one, two, and three. Go inside of our very first chain that we just did there and slip stitch to create the bump. And we're going to go back inside of our work with our tail still a part of our leaf center, our little chaining center. And we're going to put two, three, four, and five. All right. We're going to slip stitch inside that, pull that through and then pull on our tail, and that'll bring everything nice and snug together. So these are all facing different ways, and it's all kinds of wonkiness. Flip it so that your leaves are facing the same way, and since you chained into your first, I'm holding onto my tail here, there you go. It's hard when you make such a long tail, you always try to grab your active yarn, but you're grabbing your other one. And what we're gonna do is we're going to chain here three, ah, uh, four, excuse me, we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. What I like to do is I'm gonna keep my tail as if it is a part of this chaining as well, which will bring the tail down to the base, which makes it easier for you later when you want to um, sew it. So I'm going to take this, I'm gonna skip the first chain from my hook and go into the next one keeping my tail as if it is a part of my work and I'm going to single crochet into the next three chains into the last three chains really because he only chained four and he skipped the fourth one two and with our tails if it's a part of it three so now here's how I keep it so that this does not go back and forth we're going to take our work 
and we're going to slip stitch into the center of our original leaf right there, which kept on trying to go sideways. And then I just cut my tail and call it good. I leave a nice long tail so that I can sew and I just pull that on through. I also work my yarn. I pull it so that it's all nice and tight so things aren't going kind of crazy. And here I pull it so that it's nice and tight and things aren't going kind of crazy. This is our uh, original tail down here. This is our what we just cut off right here. I'm going to take my darning needle and I'm going to sew this so that it's going down the line. I'm going to actually pick up along here and go down onto the opposite side of my work. Going down each of these stitches back and forth. I'm kind of going through the front and then through the back of each stitch. And I'm going to go across just because I can. There we go. And so now what we want to do is I want this attached to this. Let me move this out of the way. And move that out of the way. I want this attached to the top of my little hat part here, my head. So I'm going to actually attach it to the beginning first six stitches of the body of my Among Us character. So the way that I do that is I'm going to take this frontmost one, and this one kind of goes towards the back. So the frontmost one, I'm going to go from the front and go through the center of my work and go like that, and then have it facing the correct way. Actually, what I might do is I might stab it there. There we go. And I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to go from the farthest away point through the center. So I'm going opposite directions, essentially, but also having the meat in the center. And then I'm going to kind of pull it tight. I'm going to double knot it so that it'll stay and keep that where it is. So one. And do another double knot. And then that's attached. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So I'm going to take my yarn and feed it through the rest of the body so that the tails are hidden. So I'm going to go through the center like so. I like to go through, as some of you may know from previous videos, I like to go through one angle and then I go through another angle going the opposite way of whatever way I was going. So I'm going to do that again like so, that way it is completely hidden and you can't see it. So that is pretty much all I do for the little leaf hat. It, if you are having a hard time with making the leaf itself, um, the pumpkin video does go a bit slower. If you're having a hard time with how I made it to begin with, I had a hard time with it, so I just kind of was debating even doing a video. And if enough people are frustrated with this tutorial, I might try to redo it. But I had a really hard time describing this, and this was not a fun one to make. Everything else for the Among Us was really fun, but describing how to make this stupid leaf hat was not, I don't know, I was just struggling really hard with that. So I don't know why everything else is easy peasy to describe because most of it's just like round shapes. I don't know. I found that very, very frustrating. So let me know if this is something that you like. If you would like a printable PDF of it, I might try to come up with a way of doing that. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I just am not happy with describing how I did it. So that's pretty much all there is to this tutorial. If you like little quick things like this, if you like Among Us videos and Amigurumi, please do hit the subscribe button. It really does help us out. Uh, we are at 37,000 subscribers, which is insane to me. I cannot, it keeps going up and I don't, I'm, I'm waiting for it to slow down and it keeps just going up and it's just kind of crazy for me. So I'm very thankful for everybody. If you are interested in supporting the channel in more than just a subscriber-esque kind of way, we do have a Patreon where we have rewards. 
you can pop on over there in the description down below. We have affiliate links down below if you want to help support the channel that way. If you don't want to help to support the channel that way, don't feel pressured at all. A subscribe is lovely. A like is also lovely. Let me know if the comments are turned off down below because my goodness, they keep turning off on a bunch of them and there's no reason and I don't know why. On some of my stuff, it's labeled as like kid videos. So like the GIMP videos that I've done have been labeled as for kids. And I can't turn the comments back on with those, but I can turn the comments back on on the videos that have them randomly turned off. So I don't understand what's going on with my, my comments and my videos. I do like having them on just so that people can like ask me questions and I try my best to actually respond as much as I can to you guys, but you know, they keep getting turned off. So I don't really know what to do about that. But let me know if they're on. Comment down below. Give me a shout out. Say, hey, Cody, they're on. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be working on some cute little sitting and standing mini pets next up. And I'm also going to be working on some scrubby yarn to washies at some point this week, hopefully. So stay tuned for that. All right. Until next time, guys. Bye.